Sometimes the term manager or the title manager and the title leader can become synonymous with each other. I'm going to differentiate it for the purposes of this little communique. A manager is someone who manages things. A leader is someone who leads people. There is a distinction between the two. In the process of this, a leader takes 100% ownership over his or her teams. There are no bad teams, only bad leaders. So how does a person go from being a manager to a leader? Let me throw an idea at you. First of all, we want to be leaders in our organizations, not managers. That doesn't mean there isn't a place for managers. They manage things. In other words, not people. In order to become an effective leader, there are three A's that we're going to address. The first A is the authority. We need to delegate down to the lowest person possible or the lowest position possible in order for them to make good decisions without someone hanging over their shoulders at a constant basis. So at, when they have the authority, they can make decisions without having to run everything up the flagpole to the leader. Next, they have the autonomy to make that decision. Therein is the idea that they don't have someone looking over their shoulder, correcting on a micromanagement basis. Now notice the term micromanagement. When you micromanage, you turn that human into an object and take away their ability to grow. People don't grow by their successes. They grow by their mistakes or their mistakes because then they get a retake. Now the most important one of the three A's is accountability. Here's the problem that we see in too many organizations. We'll say you get authority, autonomy, and accountability, but what really happens is they take away the authority, they take away the autonomy, and they only hold them accountable for what doesn't work. And then the leader, so-called leader, which is really a manager, will cast blame on everybody but him or herself. Remember, there are no bad teams, only bad leaders. The leader is 100% responsible, accountable. They take 100% ownership over the process or the success of the team. A true leader maximizes the production of every team member. In order to do that, that person takes 100% accountability. They own the success of that team. And when the team has success, they laud the team members and they stand in the background. They're not the ones who bring out, say, look what I did, even though someone else would have done a lot of the legwork. There are too many case studies to indicate that when people take the uh, responsibility of success away from their team members, that's a manager, not a leader. An effective leader delegates the three A's, authority, autonomy, and accountability, gives all the credit to the team members, and is 100% responsible for their success.